do rag wisdom here folks birthday y2k 17.08.15 and believe it or not it's 21st century here folks 21st century and uh, so far we haven't really inserted our virus into the rest of the universe and and you know something I have complete faith that our species if it remains at this level that it's on this naked ape savage level that it's on will never get control or access to our universe. I believe with perfect faith that we're going to be stuck here, this species of ours, if we don't change. If we don't, what did Lincoln call it? The better natures of ourselves. If we don't bring that out. We're going to be stuck here. Or at least I hope so. Because the last thing I want to see is that we spread our cancer into the rest of the universe. But folks, when I say universe, the universe is vast. I mean, this is, a, this is something really amazing. When I read The Shrinking Man when I was uh, a kid the first time, and I said, wow, what is that? Here's this guy trying, he wants to kill himself. He's shrinking a seventh of an inch a day because he got exposed to some kind of dust. And then this combination, he was exposed to some DDT. And he watches his his uh, family and himself get slowly taken apart and he's he's shrinking a seventh of an inch a day. There's nothing they can do about it. At one point they stop the process but he keeps going and going and going until the point even his beloved kitty goes after him because he's so small. Giant a, a spider, go, a black widow spider goes after him because he's well, I don't want to ruin it if you've never read the book. It's, I mean, there's a lot of interesting things go, that happens to someone who is shrinking a seventh of an inch a day, and then the book, of course, gets into, you know, he goes out into the world. <laughs> what does a grown man do in this situation? In any event, the Shrinking Man, Scott Carey, his name, never gave up. At many points in the novel, he kept saying, why don't I just kill myself? Why, not, why, do, I, why do I keep going on? The infinite, the infinitesimal. And here we are in the 21st century we're on this path of evolution and we're really so infinitesimal. This infinitesimal little creature that we are, this little species that we are. And all we do is hurt each other and mess with each other. If only we could live with each other in peace and harmony. Make of this space we have a, a space of dignity and wisdom. Maybe then we'll evolve. Maybe then there won't be no mm, hatred. People marching in the streets with their banners of genocide. 
We're fighting now, folks. We're in a little, we're a small little phase of our evolution. And we could go be forward and become successful on this planet while it lasts. In the brief time, another uh, four billion years left to this planet. Or <laughs> we enter the hall of extinction. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just so upset right now. I'm so depressed. Just so. I just downloaded this book uh, by Do Dr. Carol Anderson. I hope I got that name right. About how this racism, she's a historian and a professor, and how this white European, excuse me, I don't want to insult all of Europe, but white racism is inherent in our American society. And I've always believed this. For as long as we've had, we have a beautiful, we have a beautiful society, an American society. Our society is a, because we have an ideal. And if we reach that ideal, folks, then this country will survive another 250 years and maybe if we all share in this world of ours this global world of ours as we'll survive as a species and deserve seeing the secrets the few secrets there are of this grand 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 universe that we have and I'm talking right now only about the one little part of it our Milky Way there's so many others beyond that so many others